Hi, today I will guide you how to bend the copper tube. Uh, let's take a copper tube and close its one end. I just press it using a glass and make sure it is completely closed. Uh, let me focus over it. I am sorry for my poor camera focus. Uh, so here you can see that it is completely closed. Now ta uh, I take the sand and uh, I put it in the metal uh, box and heat it up uh, so as to remove the water from the sand uh, because if it is uh, uh, wet sand then it can't flow and now it is completely dry as it, I just hold it up and now I make the cone of the paper now uh, take the close end and push it in inside from the top uh, here you can see that I completely pushed it inside and now pass over to the open end now take the another tape and now close it so as it, uh, it may not slip out uh, and it may not waste the same so uh, now I am going to add the sand inside. Actually, uh, what I want to do is to fill this uh, tube with the sand uh, because uh, last time when I tried to bend this tube, uh, it squeezes and closes the path. So here I find the method to fill this tube with the sand so it will not let it to squeeze as it is a solid material inside. So completely fill it with the sand, uh, completely, completely fill it, uh, there should be no gap inside. Uh, now remove this cone and uh, close the other open end. Now the both ends are completely closed. again check it that if the end is uh, properly closed or not because when we bend it then uh, sand will leak from that uh, uh, ends okay let's move on now here it is ready to bend and when you bend it it will not squeeze uh, the squeeze and close the pass uh, for me I actually i want to make a, a hot water condenser so uh, i take a silicone uh, no it's not silicone it's a, just a conducting sheet uh, made of the aluminium uh, now uh, i want to dry it uh, in the exact manner to make it water conductor so just take a marker or any round shape material and roll it over that. I am extremely sorry for my poor English and poor editing, but I think uh, my message will be clearly conveyed. Uh, so uh, actually this mess, uh, step was skipped uh, by me because of my uh, camera problem now in next uh, step I will completely explain this how I bend this because when you bend it uh, in real time then you face the uh, several problems um, then uh, I am trying to make it clear now bend it properly now here you see that uh, uh, at this point the end is too sharp uh, if there is no sand then it will definitely squeeze the pipe and uh, uh, close the path so it is very tricky because uh, from this side uh, it is squeezes uh, so I use I move it back and when you see that when you move it back then its area of curvature is expanding now every time you move back please make it uh, clear, uh, clear that it may not break the pipe so use these soft ends and try to bend the pipe now uh, please 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 deal it carefully because any wrong mistake will waste all of your efforts and you have to start this experiment again uh, 
so slowly slowly don't waste it otherwise it will waste it ok now it's almost done do this bending in small and little steps uh, because it is very sensitive work uh, if you apply any over pressure then it may not break or uh, spoil the pipe so this time I think it is ready so hold it firmly and uh, use your hands to bend it now I think it's uh, in a good form now use the hammer to fit it inside this is not just example to turn the, uh, bend the pipe but you can also use this uh, such kind of frame to uh, give the shapes to your pipes now you see that uh, this side is a little bit squeezed so I used soft hammer to open these sides now you see it clearly that uh, uh, now the paths are more wider now it's time to uh, bend the next turn deal it slowly and carefully because more you give turn it will be more sensitive work because any of the mistake will waste all of your efforts use your hammer to put it inside and to give it a shape and it's almost done now you see that this is a fine pipe now it's time to draw the sand any kind of metal pipe or the uh, pipes that uh, have the problems to be squeezed uh, you can use the sand or the salt salt uh, sodium chloride can also be used but make sure that it, it should be completely dried uh, it should not uh, and it should be completely dried and in the powder form now open these ends Now after opening the both ends, just pour the sand out. So you can see that uh, it comes out very smoothly. Give it just so that uh, the sand stuck inside due to the applying of the pressure, uh, it may come out. Now, uh, uh, some of the uh, sand uh, may be stuck out uh, in the center uh, ring, so it is better to remove this pipe from the uh, Celsius stencils. Uh, you can use the softener because the hardener may destroy the pipe. Now, here you can see that it is very fine and a beautiful shape. Now it is ready to use. Just pour it. Uh, now for, I am just trying to blow the air out, and I can see that all the air is coming out properly. So it means that it is completely empty. You can also wash it with the water, uh, water flow from one side and. Uh, now uh, I am just uh, showing you that it's application in the center you can see that there is a fan and uh, under the fan I will see some view of the uh, system uh, actually I want to use this uh, uh, to make the instrument uh, so uh, here you see that this working is the water is properly coming out this is the output uh, 